and I'm really courageous. Like there is nothing that scares me. Nothing. Yeah. That, like, that's great. Now you have a dream board. Yeah. Do you, how do you have it? I mean, what is in it? I mean, my, my, my dream, my dream board changes all the time. Uh, Every morning because you wake up very early. I know about your routine and, you know, but you have, how do you address it? How do you change it? Who changes it? Yourself? After you read a book? Yeah, every, my, I mean, my dream board changes. My dreams change. Uh, they, they just, they, they just, every time I accomplish the, a dream, I immediately set a higher dream. And I always keep pushing myself to get better, to get better, to get better, to get better. It's like a race I have with myself because if I don't feel like I'm being extremely productive, I don't feel like I'm living. And I want to be living. You know, I want to be happy. It makes me, uh, even when I become a billionaire, uh, I'm going to be motivated to get, to keep improving, to keep improving, to keep making a difference. Do you have a hobby? Do you rest? No, <laughs> no. I, I, I go to sleep when, when, when my eyes are shutting, when I collapse. So I, I go to sleep with Italia and, and, um, and, uh, she has, she's in my arms and, and I'm holding her and I go to sleep just when I, when I can no longer keep my eyes open. And then I just wake up with my eyes open. So when I, like last night, she's like, daddy, he was playing Play-Doh with her, playing Play-Doh in the night with her. Because we were in the office pretty late. We're working on a lot of different things. And literally the hours are not enough. It doesn't matter how many people we have on, on our team. It, it's just that massive, right? And it's funny because I didn't want to leave. And he's like, let's go. I'm hungry and I'm sleepy. Or what? It was already like 930. And I'm like, oh, I need like 30 more minutes, right? 30 to, always turns into an hour, two hours. But we're, he was like, no, let's go. So I get all my stuff. I pack up everything. And then I go to him. He's like, oh, I already ate. And... And I'm not sleepy. I'm like, uh, uh, we're leaving because you made me put everything away. Now the baby thinks we're on our way. And it was crazy. We get there. He's playing Play-Doh with her. She's so happy. Kids just want you to love them, right? They want your attention. Right. Material things won't ever replace your actual love for them, right? And he's playing with her. And I'm like, oh, I felt so bad because I made him food. I get, we get home. I make him food. The nanny leaves and he's playing with her and he's so tired because he gets up. Yeah. Way before I do for sure. If I can squeeze in an extra hour of sleep, especially now I'm pregnant, I'm tired, I'm working extra, 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 but that's not an excuse. I'm still going to get it done no matter what, right? But he's playing with her and his eyes are literally shutting. Like his eyes are shutting as he's playing with her. And I was like, come on, Italia, we're going to go to bed because daddy's sleepy. She's like, no, 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 daddy, wake up, wake up, because she wants to play with him, right? It's crazy, but that made me think of that. And it's so cute. He's the best dad ever. So the, what I'm learning here is that nevertheless that you are making lots of money by your own uh, declaration. I mean, you still work and you put a lot of hours. A lot. I, I really don't think that anybody works harder than me. I work harder. Well, that's... <laughs> and and <laughs> I, I just I just really believe it. I, I really believe it, and that's why I'm totally against uh, the four-hour work week or people thinking that they could work a little less and make more money. Or, or that's that. I think that's the main reason why most, especially right now in the world of millennials, they they're just wired incorrectly. Like they, it it really takes you have to have that hard that work ethic, and that's why you you you'll find the richest people, the wealthiest people are the ones that work the hardest. And the and and the them. and the poorest are are the ones that work the least. They're the laziest. Uh, I asked this billionaire. Uh, now that you made it, you're worth four billion. Uh, do you take it easy a little bit? Do you work a little less? And he said, Yeah. Um, I cut back on my work hours. I work half ha half uh half half of the day now. <laughs> I, now I work from eight to eight. <laughs> that's a great that's awesome now well isn't oh, right. that amazing that's like, amazing and if you really think about it i read this quote that says that the the rich broke the rich work like they're running out of money and the broke work like they and, and it sounds mean to say it like that but if you don't work really really hard you're always going to be in the same situation in the same place with the same people right and so many of us i had a hard time letting go of like People that weren't good for me. He saw that they weren't good for me, but I wanted to hold on to these people because I was like, I'm not going to have any friends. But now I have an excess of amazing women around me, like 
people that are actually happy for me doing good, not saying, oh, you don't have time for me. Oh, this and that. And you have to detach. And it's not necessarily saying like, oh, I can't talk to you anymore. You run out of time to spend with these people. It's weird because they're not. It, it's a give and take relationship. And right. it's, so many people just want to take, 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 take. And it doesn't work like that. Do you have a vision of you, you guys in 10 years from now? Oh, God. <laughs> 11 years, our company is going to wor be worth $200 billion. But I think we could do it in seven years. And uh, people in our company are going to get equity. Uh, of course, people that earn it. So we're going to spread the wealth. Everybody's going to leave happy and with a lot of money. And then what I'm going to do with my portion, and I'm sure everybody in our company is going to do the same because everybody, uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at communicating with them and enrolling them into our vision because it's a vision for the company. It's our vision. And mo most of most of our people, they believe in us blindly. And when whatever we tell them is the right thing to do, they, they'll do it. So I have, I have a, I'm, I'm really confident that when it's all said and done in, in seven or eight years, uh, we'll all be um, semi-retired uh, with a lot of money. And we're going to dedicate ourselves to like make a difference in this world. I want to change the schooling system because I don't, I think it's, it's, uh, there's a lot of things that I want to fix. And uh, that's going to be my passion, like just making a difference for the better in this world. And um, yeah, like I, I, I that, that's what drives me. That's what drives me. So I understand that it's uh, going to be like, it's going to take about 11 years, but I think we could do it in in uh, seven or eight years. Awesome. And Syl, do you have any projection? Well, I know I'll have two daughters for sure. We might have another son. Uh Every year has been, like I said, better than the last, especially these last two years have been crazy. But ask me how much extra work we've had to do a lot more on a different level with a lot more employees. So it just takes a lot. Right. It's never just going to be overnight unless you create this magic app and what you'll make a million or two. Or if you created Facebook, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how long that took, but I don't know. I know. I know it's always going to be there's no way that him and I cannot work. There, there's just no way. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. We'll what, see. What would be your, because we have to finish the conversation. Yes. I would love to keep talking. <laughs> we can but, talk all day. Yeah, but what would be your, your final message to the audience? Never give up. Keep going. Do different things if you want a different result because so many people do the same thing over and over and over and over again and expect a different result. And it doesn't work. You have to invest in yourself And these are like a bunch of little nuggets. You have to invest in yourself. It, it seems crazy to be like, I'm not going to go to seminars. I'm not going to read a book. But you'll sit there and watch a whole like Netflix show or I don't know all the things that all these people talk about. We don't even watch TV. If I'm lucky, we'll watch a movie and he'll fall asleep the first five minutes. Literally at home, at the theater, it doesn't matter. And investing in if you bet on yourself and you give everything that you have literally without excuses, without bullshit. Because so many people, we, we tell ourselves a lot of BS. We do. Right. Excuses us to why we can't do it. And poor Rationalizing. Me. Exactly. Yeah. How about just go all in, go all in, do everything in your part. And if you don't succeed, you're going to land somewhere up there and you're going to be way better than you were. Right. And it's Nevertheless, little, you're going to be in better position. Yeah, absolutely. And it's going to be little habits, little habits. We have this event. It's called Driven Event. You could go to drivenevent.com. It happens every September. This year, it's September 14th. So just go to our, our website. It's uh, drivenevent.com. And we have all of our tickets. And this conference is amazing. There's a lot of real millionaires, um, hopefully a billionaire or two. We have a, a lineup and we have a few speakers we still have to announce. But it's it's going to be amazing. And self-improvement, nobody can take it from you. So that's my, my, my advice that I can give all of you. Just keep going. Be a better person every single day and do more. Excellent. <laughs> What about you? Yeah, so just to, to add a little bit to that, uh, Driven Event is based on our our four principles, sales, systems, training, and, and marketing, and we go really deep in it, and we have experts that talk about it, and I talk about it, but my biggest advice for anybody is to invest all your money and go broke, and invest all your money into self-improvement. If you have $5,000, invest it in, in, invest those $5,000 and pay a coach $5,000. If you have 500, go to a $500 coach and get him. He's going to teach you at least how to do something, right? 
but if you have a hundred thousand, spend a hundred thousand on the on the on the mentor that's that high of a level, and and because knowledge is priceless, and once you get the knowledge, you'll start making money. Once you start to get making money, no matter how old you are, the sooner the better. Start investing in real estate. Start accumulating a four-unit property, a three-unit property, a four-unit property, a three-unit property, four-unit, four-unit, four-unit. We accumulated about eighteen units and sold them, sold most of them, and um, made us over two million. We used all that money to open more businesses and get more real estate, and money just started growing because of real estate is a big reason why we're here. And it was just a combination of a lot of things, but we got all that because of the knowledge, the money that we invested into Grant Cardone, Patrick David, and and people like that. So invest in knowledge, and then you'll make money, and then you get the the money, and then you start buying a few properties here, a few multi-units, apartments, and and you're going to be set. Anything else that you would like to add to this conversation? Or you feel that this is the end? I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, I think we covered most of the things. I right. mean, it, it, I love it. Thank you. Two, Thank you. Two important things are courage and work ethic. And and be ethical. You know, be ethical. Ethics. Ethics is huge. We we in our in our in our company and our our environment is is really ethical. We don't have to worry about somebody cheating, stealing, lying. Um, it, you have to be really ethical. Like when when you're ethical, like when you're honest. You don't have to have that extra stress, and you could focus on 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 your on your dreams, on your vision, and 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 you're free. You know, you're free, and right. and there's nothing that if you have if you're ethical, you have the work ethic, and your commitment, you have commitment, and you're courageous, you're gonna be unstoppable. So I think that's why I feel like I can do anything because I'm really courageous. I I com- I have commitment, and I have work ethic, and discipline. You know, ethics. Uh It's a way to say it. it's very important to be honest, but that means respect. If I am dishonest with you, means that I don't respect you, correct? And that's why it's so important what you just said, Albert, because when the people feel that they are respected, they give you the best from themselves. You know, that's very important. And I've heard this, uh, somebody once told me that, good things for good people. And if you really think about it, Makes sense, right? Right, right. So, Albert, still, what a pleasure to have you here. I mean, I learn a lot, and uh, hopefully, we keep talking and, uh, you know, catch up later on and yeah. see what's going on. We can go on. eat. Yeah. <laughs> After I'm not pregnant, we could go have some drinks. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you want to learn more about Albert and Sil Preciado, their companies and seminars go to themortgageguys.com. Thanks so much for listening to our show this week. If you want to find out more about our podcast, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Comoloiso, or visit our website at comoloiso.com. Please subscribe to our show on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to your podcast. If you want to reach out to comment or suggest a topic, please email hellocomoloiso.com. This show was produced at the iHeart Studios in Los Angeles. I'd like to thank our producers, Fernando Alejandro Esquiantarelli and Amelia Machiavello, our sound engineer, Martin Garcia, and Annie Sidervich, our general producer. Como Lo Hizo is a co-production from Premier Radio Network and Crece Grow Media. I am Fernando Schiantarelli. Thanks again for listening.